good afternoon friends i'm with the third video of geo zebra let's learn today how to make flowers because as it's new year time so give this flowers to your young ones and enjoy <laughs> just kidding so in this video we will learn how to input the parameters and again buttons and the function behind this fantastic flower so let's start new window okay so here we need a center point first let's ready the recipe let's make point a with increment of 0 0.01 from 0 to 360 okay now we'll define one more slider with name b from 0 to 20 this will define number of petals at an increment of 1 because petals are always integers yes now we'll learn this new function of input enter value of petals and we link this with b okay so this is the value of petals so if we change the value of petals you get 7 will give the change the value to 7 oops okay so let's define buttons start start animation of a okay button 2 stop button stop Start animation. False. Yes. And now final. Reset button. Value of A equals to 0. Okay. So we get this all three buttons. Yes. So let's make a circle. define point B as 50 so we have a radius 50 50 cos of A comma 50 sine of A don't forget to keep this parenthesis or there will be an error so we have a circle with radius 5 if we start it okay up oh let's define this in another way so that we get it up let's keep it sine and cos here okay reset yes we are ready now let's define circle 2 quickly point C in parenthesis it will be one at a time it will be 30 with radius 30 cos of a comma 30 sine of a but as we are putting number of petals so it will be minus 1 star a and here also we get b minus 1 because if we use two curves we get three petals so it is b minus 1 and now this is a relative circle so it will be x of b because this does not pass through origin y of b oh it's capital boom it's ready we are ready with the circle. So 
so we get loops with different speed okay so now let's track it on start so we get loops now quickly go to through the conditions oh it should be increasing order increasing okay okay so we get one two three four one two three four five six seven petals so we are right now let's uh, put color conditions in this object so go to advance write if conditions if x let's put conditions for x x of c squared plus y of c squared should be less than 40 squared so this is the condition for s radius of circle so the circle in radius 40 will be red in color 1 comma 0 okay similarly we'll put this conditions here you can put the value change it actually from 30 squared to 60 squared okay and similarly last one from 50 squared to 80 squared so that we get number of colors here okay so this is it so we make a wonderful petal color so let's off it so this view flex object change it here so that we get this in center flex it out okay so we get this fantastic color we can play with colors and make good intricate designs so this is it thank you guys and i'm glad to have a good audience so i'll teach you one more thing let's make a tangent to this circle and to this point so we get a tangent now let's trace this tangent and start see the illusion of colors whoa, 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 whoa. so you get illusions from this so as we change the number of petals here to eight we'll get a different curve eight petals yes if we stop tracing this line then we get eight petal curves and similarly you can make such fantastic curves okay thanks for watching the video if you like these videos subscribe my channel i'll make such many more videos of advanced geozebra technology thank you